Hello, it's Jean. Hope you're all well. Um, today I'm going to tell you about a prompt called Wordy Streets. Wordy Streets. These have been strange months, haven't they? We've all done rather a lot of walking around the streets near where we live and seen a lot more than usual of the world within a mile of home. You might be back at school now, or you might not. But it could be worse. In 1790, a young French nobleman named Xavier de Maistre found himself under house arrest. He'd been in an illegal duel. He was stuck literally inside one room for 42 days and he wrote a book called Journey Around My Room. I'll read you the beginning of it because it's rather good. My room is situated on the 45th degree of latitude according to the measurement of Father Beccaria. It stretches from east to west. It forms a long rectangle, 36 paces in circumference if you hug the walls. My journey will, however, measure much more than this as I will be crossing it frequently lengthwise or else diagonally without any rule or measure. I will even follow a zigzag path. So this prompt is about seeing the familiar in a new way. What I suggest is that you take a walk around your locality and you make some notes in a notebook or on a clipboard and perhaps take some photos. Note down what you observe. The colour of a front door, someone putting out the washing, a lone cat on the wander, a very tidy garden, a garden full of junk and litter, someone walking their dog, a lace curtain, the light, the rain. When you get home, Rearrange your notes into a short story or perhaps into a poem. You could, but you don't have to, begin with the word if. And you can borrow ideas from Xavier de Maistre. So, for example, if I walk from south to north along our street to count the rainbows in the windows, also I find, in order, a grubby lace curtain and a tabby cat that won't speak to me. I find the back end of a bicycle and a garden so bald that the lawn is like a... You have to decide what it might be like. I'll give, throw a simile at us. And the next day, you can try it again and it will be different. When you have a draft that pleases you, Take a new piece of paper, or better still, a bit of card, and draw a building. It could be a block of flats, it could be um, a cottage, it could be a terrace, it could be a shed. Here's one I drew. Okay. And what you can do is draw on it, illustrate it, arrange your writing on it, punch a hole in the top, and then put some string or ribbon or wool through the hole, and um, hang it up and you can hang it across rooms and when you walk on other days you make another house or another shed could be a garden shed could be um, it could be a wendy house it could be the village hall or a bus stop so you can do one for every day for a week and when you've done that you will have made a wordy street hung across your room Thank you. Bye.